Chapter 14, Episode 8. Blusher couldn't let it go. He didn't imagine he was chasing her. Just wondering if he could track her. Blusher didn't think that Angela went to Mexico. He scanned the Canadian news site news sites for a few minutes every day. Two months had gone by with nothing he could link her to. He guessed large cities in Canada, so he started in the east, found nothing of interest and moved to the west. He checked Halifax first, then he scanned Quebec City before moving before giving Montreal a bit more attention. If there was nothing of interest in Montreal, he gave Toronto a quick look. On some days he checked cities west of Toronto, but his self-allotted time for looking was half an hour per day. In the second week of the third month, he got stuck for more than two hours on the Montreal news. There was, a bi- there was big news about a second murder. Blusher hadn't caught the first one, which was the day before. It hadn't been such a big news event. The second murderer made it one. The second victim was in Montreal, Marriott, in Montreal. It had to be her. There would likely be no evidence. It was the size of the event that she said she was back. Who said? (laughs) Wait a minute, bro. It, It was the size of the event that said she was back. He watched some footage from outside the hotel. She came from the roof. He didn't know that like he knew it was her. She could have dressed up as room service or as a prostitute, although Blusher didn't think so. But she was likely the woman who faked the poor woman's identity for a word day. The news hadn't reported how either of them had been murdered, which meant they didn't know yet. Blusher knew what the news would fester into. There would be so much speculation it would be measurable as a wave in the internet. The crime, will be the, the crime will be of the least interest after a few days. Much will be learned about the two dead people. They will be famous for 15 days in death. Blusher laughed at his clever reference to a dead artist. That's what it's about. He wanted to tell Jenkins but figured he'd better work out what the conclusion had been. That was, Blusher took out a pen to write it down. Not that he would forget it, mostly to read it. Make sure it still made sense. He wrote, not just a business message. Someone is exposing. Then he stopped. What was it they were exposing? Rich capitalists. That was unlikely. Poor people don't have nearly invisible assassins that never make mistakes. He had to think of the Justice League, those superheroes that went around murdering bad people. He almost believed that theory. Blusher went out for a smoke. He texted a one-word message to Franco, Montreal.